What do you smell, dog? <laughs> oh, that nose. Well, here we are. The Museum Ship Valley Camp. And, uh... She's looking a little rough. So if you remember this past winter, a truck failed to turn, went over the barrier, hit that fence, ended up upside down, down there. Um, did hit the valley camp, but I can't really tell it did any damage. But it looks like it was time anyway for her to get like a new coat of paint. And so I'm assuming that all those gray spots, I don't know if that was like rust or, or like you know, where the paint had peeled and they sanded it and put like a primer or sealant over it. But, they're definitely, uh, I saw this yesterday, and so this is all new. If you look down, well, let's just walk down there. And it looks like there's a section that's already been done. It looks all nice and new. Over there you can see the lift they've been using. To do it and you can see they have maybe you can see <laughs> they're like a tarp underneath i'm sure to catch anything in case they drop it down into the water so if you look down here you can see if i get in the shadow there we go kind of how it is down by the water line and you can see just there's just spots where the paint's peeled and Valley Camp's been around a long time. So I'm, I'm again, I imagine this sanded and then being primed or sealed or, or something. <laughs> Argo is trying to trip me. Of course, we got some geese yelling at us, if that's what they do. Get rid of that. So here, you can see this has been done. I'm trying to get down into the shadow. You can see the line. You see they put, they painted the numbers there. So I imagine this is kind of what the whole whole thing, whole ship will look like at some point. And there we go. I wanted to show that because of course this you can't see from the uh, Streamtime live camera. It's on the wrong side. I also wanted to walk down here because the Canadian steamship line St. Laurent or St. Laurent <laughs> is tied up down here. At least she was when we were walking. These buoys, when you see them, it's like kind of hard. Where we go? Where we go? Sit. Stay. So here we have an Argo for scale. <laughs> and the size of these these buoys. This one has a, a ringer in it. It's like it would make noise with the waves. And we'll get, there we go, sit. 
Oh, well, that works too. You can lay down. <laughs> there we go. Idea for scale. I'm 6'4", and of course these are quite a bit larger than I am. So, and this anchor, up, up. There we go, up, up. Oh, he's not going to do it. I thought I'd give him a jump up there, but he wasn't having it. Nice day today, as you can see. 71 degrees. This lovely weather. And there is the St. Laurent, or St. Laurent. They're waiting their turn for the lock. And that uh, plume you see in the background, that's from Algoma Steel, not from the St. Laurent. Just wanted to be clear of that. And of course, over there, that is Ontario, Canada. Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Right there, just, it's still weird to me. It's just another country right there. <laughs> All right, well, that's pretty much it, right, dog? I'm gonna go finish up this walk. It is Friday, the 17th of May. And uh, we kind of have like interesting weather. It's supposed to rain at night, but be sunny during the day this weekend. So that's like perfect <laughs> and seemingly backwards how it normally is. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're going to finish up this walk. So have a great day. Make good choices. Norgo and I, we will return.